Not sure. I never got into any of the Kirby games when I was younger. When Nintendo started promoting the hell out of Kirby's Dream Land, my 11-year-old self was like, oh great, another platformer starting a cutesy mascot, just like Bubsy, Arrow the Acrobat, and the freaking 7-Up logo, no thanks. The series seemed aimed for younger kids, so I thought I was too cool for school to play them. Come on, cut me some slack, you know how middle school kids are. So years and years go by, and I finally get around to playing the Super Nintendo Kirby games, Kirby's Dream Land 3 and Kirby Superstar, for starters. And they're okay. Again, I couldn't help but feel I'm just not the target audience. They're clearly well-made games, but they're just not my thing. So as a result of that, I completely ignored Kirby's Dream Course for years and years. Just based on the title, I thought it was like a kart racing game or something. So I was surprised to learn that the course in the title meant golf course. Fun fact about me, I've been a big golf dork since I was a kid. I really love golf games, everything from Fuji Golf from the early 90s Microsoft Entertainment Pack, to Microsoft Golf, to the Tiger Woods series, to Hot Shots Golf, to the new Mario Golf game for 3DS, which is great, by the way. So having said that, I really think Kirby's Dream Course is the best golf game on the Super Nintendo, and it's not even close. And yeah, it's obviously not a traditional golf game, there's no clubs. Kirby is the ball itself, and the courses look more like mazes from Marvel Madness for NES. There's enemies and warp zones and all sorts of weird stuff going on, but in spirit it is a golf game because the goal is to get the ball in the hole in as few shots as possible. But just because it's a golf game at heart doesn't mean you have to, you know, actually like golf to enjoy this game. There's enough personality and weirdness here for anyone to dig. All eight courses are really crazy and unpredictable, and some get incredibly complicated. There's enemies, so you can take damage if you're not careful. You roll over each enemy until one remains, and that one turns into the hole. There's power-ups too, like the sparkle ball thing that destroys obstacles, and the UFO that allows Kirby free will for a brief moment. Making this game even better is that it's two-player, where you have to beat your opponent to the hole. Kirby's Dream Course nails the most important aspect of any golf game, or any 3D puzzle game for that matter, which is an honest and reliable physics engine. That doesn't mean it's realistic, you're just not going to get quote-unquote realistic physics in a Super Nintendo game, it just needs to be consistent and predictable. When you have a shot in mind, you should be able to execute that shot as closely to how you imagined it should go, and this game follows through on that very well. Compare that to the other golf games for the Super Nintendo, like all of the PGA games or Hal's Hole in One Golf, those are just painfully slow and choppy and weirdly unreliable when it comes to where you think the ball will end up after you hit it. Those games have really aged poorly. Kirby's Dream Course, though, was good then, it's good now, and it'll be good 20 years from now. It's a well-made game that's worth checking out, even if you don't care about golf or Kirby for that matter.